See? Very. And so now, instead of changing these individually, you can just change this to like 40 by 10. <laughs> see what this looks like. Yeah, see? Goes way down there. And actually, I think I got them backwards. Yeah, this would be rows. And this would be columns. So, there we go. Now it's 40 wide by 10 high. And so, that's some cool stuff you can do with for loops. Now, if statements are very cool as well. And that's what I'll go over now. Let's say, let's say, uh, let's just do a simple setup. Let's say int uh, i equals, I'm just using i, you can use whatever, 10, and then I'm going to see out, enter this number. Space in there. I. And so this is going to say just it's just gonna say enter this number and then it's gonna have the value of I, which is ten in our case. And then I'm gonna say C N and then I'm gonna C N another int J equals zero for this time. And so let's see in J. You'll notice I put C int. <laughs> that won't work. Uh, let's say if if I equals equals J, then And I want to output. Uh, what should I output? Correct. And then I want to do else if so. If 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 the if i does not equal j, then I want to output wrong number. to lastly end this off. There we go. Now, so let's try this out. Enter this number. So let's just enter for now 4. You'll notice it outputs wrong number. Now, if we run this again, into this number 10 it enters it, it outputs correct so with if statements you can start branching off of the user's input which becomes very useful and uh, you can all you have if else you can you can take off this else and it'll still run fine, except it won't give you logical results. It'll just end if it's not the right number. But that just demonstrates that you can have it, an if statement without an else statement, but you can't have an else statement without an if statement. You'll notice we get a compiler error. So just be aware of that. And there's also else if. So let's say else if. Let's say I, if I is. Uh, if I is greater than or equal to. Or wait, greater than J. 
or no, let's say if j is greater than i, then let's output, uh, let's see out. wrong number you are too high and now let's run this wrong number you are too high it also outputs wrong number so Oh, I don't know why, because I never put the else. <laughs> so let's put else here. And now, this time it shouldn't, shouldn't output. I the same number. Yeah, see, it doesn't output wrong number again. So, that's just simple stuff you can do with if, else statements. And you also have else, if, else, if statements as well. And so, with that, I guess we can go ahead and get started on making our package. Now, I'm going to have the package here, and I'm going to show you a different uh, some Win API color functions. And so when I get to that, just don't really pay attention to what it means. Just do it, copy paste it, or whatever, because honestly. Win API is just uh, it's some pretty complicated stuff, and so if you know it, good for you. If you don't, just copy paste. I don't know it personally, so I just copy paste. So, all right, now let's get started here. We're going to uh. Okay, I'm back.